So um, I got a couple new gadgets and I'm going to show you one today. Um, I'm going to cook something in my mini dash oven. Um, let me show you what it looks like. So that's it. It's really small. Um, this is a little pan. I've already put the tin foil on it because I'm going to cook up some chicken in it. And as you can see, it fits like one slice of bread so you can toast your um, a piece of toast in it for your breakfast or whatever. And it's, it's the right size for me, for van life, or for in my little cottage here. So, yeah, I'm going to do that today, and I thought I'd bring you along. So I'm going to use this today. Um, it's the Loretta Season Coating Mix for Chicken, the crispy oven style. I got this at the dollar store, and it contains two packets, so I've got one out that I'm going to be using, and then the other one I can use at some other time. I can use it on pork chops or whatever, but for that, for today, I'm going to just use the one. I might not even have to use it all because I've just got a couple pieces of chicken that I'm going to cook in my little dash. Um, a little bit more about the dash. Forget how many watts. Let me see. Let's see if I can read this. Um, I can't see it. It's. I'm going to have to get my glasses. Hold on a minute. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, it uses 550 watts. And it's really simple. It's either on or off. And I, ha I don't have it plugged in, but it has like a timer. So you would want to... If you, it goes up to 15 minutes, and it has two little um, pieces of bread on here. So if you want it really dark uh, toast, you would put it on number four. It gets up to 400 degrees, so you could cook different things in this. Um, kind of, it's just really cute to me. It's small. Um, let me show you the inside of it if I can. See, that's how it heats up is this little, let me pull that out, this little thing down here heats up, and that's how it gets heated. So, anyways, this is what it looks like, and I got the yellow one. They had them in the teal color, pink, maybe black and yellow, or maybe it was white. There was four different colors, but I got the yellow one. Okay, so I've got just a couple of chicken tenders here that i got to use up. And I'm just going to, they're in a baggie here, so I'm just going to pour some of this coating in here. Let me get that open. Seal this up. I'm just going to coat it all as good as I can. And I'm to put a little bit more on this side. That looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit more than that one piece. Okay. Let's see if I got enough. Okay, so my chicken's all coated. And I'm just going to spray my. So it doesn't stick. Where 
is my summary. There it is. And then I'm just going to put the chicken right on the right on here. So I got three of them on here. Give you guys a look at that. See, that's all it is. I'm just gonna toss that out. All right, I'm gonna get this all plugged in, and I will bring you back. Okay, so we're all plugged in now. So I'm just gonna. Stick these in the oven. I'm going to turn it on for six minutes for that side, and then I'll flip it, and I'll bring you guys back when I do that. Here, let me show you. It's going to start heating up pretty soon, and you'll be able to see. Sorry about that light in the mirror. Okay, I'll bring you back. Okay, I think you can probably see how it's heating up down there. And it has one on the top too, so I'm just going to let these cook for like six minutes on this side and flip it and I'll bring you back and show you what they look like. Okay, so it's been six minutes on that side, so I'm going to Pull it out and I'm gonna flip these over. And then I'm gonna put it back in for another six minutes. Okay, so we're getting close to the end of the cooking time, so thought I'd bring it back, and then we'll check the temperature together. This is what they're looking like. And you can hear the ticking. Oh, just stopped. So let me get these out of here, and then we'll take the temperature. Hopefully I don't burn myself trying to get it out. Things a little bit hard to work the panel out. There we go. Okay. All right, so I got this handy dandy thermometer and we're going to stick it under the meat. Oh, see what we got. So you can, guys can see it. We got to get it up to 165. So if it doesn't register 165, then we'll put it back in for a few more minutes. Nope, we're going to put it back in because it looks like it's only maybe 150. So let's stick it in for a couple more minutes. Okay, so I got them back in there as you can see. I put it on for three minutes this time. I did flip them over and I put it on for three minutes. So I'll bring you back when the dinger goes off. 
Okay, so let's test it again. I gotta fight with it to get it out again. All right, let's try it again. I'll bring you guys, oops. Ah. Let's see, it's all twisted up somehow. Okay, here we go. Bring it over to you guys. I don't know, can you see it? Almost there. Okay, so timer went off. Let's pull these bad boys out. Let's see if we can get it to read. Okay, so there you go. This is what they look like coming out of that little oven. And you can tell they're all, it's all done. Yeah, so there's a lot of other things that you can cook in a little oven like this. Hmm. Sorry to talk with my muffle. Um, you could do, like I said, you could do toast in the morning or you could do uh, one of those small pizzas, the 8-inch pizzas or 6-inch pizzas, whatever. You could do that in here. You could do a pot pie in here. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with this little mini dash toaster oven. Uh, it's perfect for van life because it's very low watt draw. And as you see, it cooks. And one more thing I wanted to show you, it's easy cleanup, you know, because I put this foil on it. All I got to do is just take the foil off, toss it in the trash. So if you're thinking about uh, wanting to be able to uh, bake in your van or in your tiny house, this might be an option for you. I mean, if it's more than one person, that probably wouldn't be good. But, you know, for one person, I don't think you can beat this little thing. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of it. Please hit the like, like button, share, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll talk to you later.